OOTD um, Eddie Bauer pants from the Goodwill, blouse from Sheen, and my shoes from the um, consignment hall. So, yeah. I'm not sure what jacket I'm going to throw on, but got to get out of here. Just wanted to share my OOTD. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Tuesday morning. And I am headed in. Have not worked since last Tuesday. So, <clears throat> I gotta remember what I do at work. <laughs> One of the memes that I saw, I am not ready. I'm, I gotta be ready. It's here, you know. But, I really got on my, gotta get, get, uh, get these hustles together these hot side hustles these entrepreneurial things that i want to do and um yeah we ain't gonna speak nothing negative but corporate corporate <laughs> um but yeah headed in guys <sighs> and running a little bit late but i should get there at 8 55 so still beating my own record which is um being there by nine so that's good for me um it's a nice day again today we're getting 50s again but windy and we're going to have some rain this evening so yeah i'm excited though i put on my goodwill sheen Goodwill Sheen and consignment pieces and made me an outfit child. So this con jacket is from the consignment store. I have on my shoes that are this color um, from the consignment store. I have on some nice Eddie Bauer dress, navy blue dress pants from the Goodwill and this blouse is from Sheen. And I thought I would throw this sweater vest over just because once I take the jacket off, depending on how it feels in the office, one minute I might be cool, one minute I might be hot. So I thought I would throw this on. So into the office we go and um, just wishing you guys a great Tuesday and hope you get through your um, work day, work whether you're working from home or in the office. So here I go into the office, guys. Good Wednesday morning. Good Wednesday morning. Need something on these lips. It's cold, y'all. It's cold out here. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. It's cold. <clears throat> Looking for my little Vaseline. Put on my lips. And then I'll do some other stuff later. But we're going to get a little Vaseline going right now. Mm, 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 mm. It's sunny. But it's cold. Sunny, but it's cold. Oh, got a case of water. I need to get out of the car. Yeah. So <clears throat> I'm almost uh, mad at myself for not already having coffee because I could at least be warming up. Now I'm stopping to get some because I want to be spoiled and have it made for me today. But I also. <laughs> I want these blueberry munchkins that I like eating so that 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 comes into play as well so hmm. oh my gosh y'all <clears throat> I feel like whoo Jesus I started the car up to get a little warmed up for me but it, it it ain't warmed up as much as I thought it would yet it's like <laughs> you go I'm gonna do uh so yes this is up uh, Y'all know I should have put on my Crawford gloves today. That would have been perfect for a day like today. What was I thinking? I wasn't. Um, yes, that would have been perfect because my hands are cold. Dang it. Not thinking. Looked right at them. And, you know, we just think because here in Chicago, if it ain't no snow, <clears throat> or we ain't standing on somebody's bus stop, we don't need them but they could have been used today that they could have so 
It is what it is. I'm out here now. I thank, G thank you, Jesus, for our heated steering wheel. It's struggling to get warm, but thank you for it. And heated seats. Thank you, Jesus. Because everybody don't have that or a remote starter. So I am blessed and highly favored. Thank you, Lord. One more day, y'all. One more day. Yep, one more day. And um, so, yeah. Just get her done. I'm not happy coming out here in this cold to go in this empty office, but corporate, right? Corporate America. That's what we're dealing with. I like some McDonald's coffee, but that ain't what I want. So, let me keep on going past. Um, I don't really have nothing to talk to you guys about. I did a get quick get ready with me with you um, as far as my makeup and I showed you what I'm wearing today. Um, and that's it. <clears throat> that's it for now. We'll see what we get in the office. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, doing a little unboxing. Got a, a gift from Miss Kimberly. Shopped on her website for the Black Friday sale. I'm trying to get it out as I'm speaking to you guys so you can see what I got. And I don't wear long earrings, so these are perfect. I'm so excited. And these love 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 them and i don't usually wear gold so i'm very excited about that as well so so nice i love her little packaging so make sure you go on and support miss kimberly thank you dear i will make sure to wear them and show them in a video forgot to also share I got these sponges that I'm always seeing youtubers use and I love it because it's when I'm doing the corner of my eye put your little fingers there and so they come in black and pink from Amazon and very inexpensive I cannot remember I'll make sure to list how much they cost but get a nice amount of them so just wanted to share that all right good morning good morning i think it is thursday sure happy it's thursday um ootd sweater i think Ooh, kind of old either fashion over or sheen big puff sleeves love that and these are franco I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly. Boots. Um, we got another cold day. It's here. It's cold. So, OOTD. Have a good one. Good Thursday morning. Good Thursday morning. <clears throat> it's very bright, sunny, and bright outside. But, oh, is it cold? It's cold, y'all. Um, headed in and today is um, vlogmas the first is vlogmas I have never done vlogmas um, don't know if I'm going to succeed I won't put that on myself but I will definitely try which means posting a video every day so I don't know if that will be a short it would be something but whatever I need to get my numbers and my views and my subscribers up is what I'm going to try and do. So I need you guys to push, push, push me and um, help me get this, help me get this going. Ooh, I got this heated seat on and it's burning. 
fun in my ass. So, um, yes, I'm going to definitely try it um, and see how that works for me, whether it be vlogging in the car, showing you the latest outfits, whatever. So, um, that's what we're going to do. Um, today's makeup, let's get into it. Let's talk about it. I did nothing but powder, no liquid or anything. I used nothing only liquid I used was my concealer, but everything else was powder. And so I think I should do a um, video on just doing that. So we'll see. I mean, I think it came out just as nice as using cream, but I wanted to try something that would um, cut down my time and um, just see how it comes out. And I think I like it. I think I like it. It's probably going to be a winner for workday week and not that using cream is slowing me down it's just you you work you focus more on blending it blending it in um when you're using cream if that makes sense so blah 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 here i go blabbing but i just wanted to share something that i found out this morning hope you guys can see me because it's extra sunny out here um i spent half my day half my half my day yesterday my mom lost her phone on Tuesday evening on the bus and I forgot that I you know can have her location so I tracked this phone all day long basically at work I watched it I watched it move from one location to another to another by the time it was time for me to end my day um, this phone was like not even 14 minutes away from me like six miles at the max and it was by an old job location and so I kept saying my first I contacted the police to say hey I think my mom's phone is at this location it looks like an apartment complex and they were like you know well you need to fill out a police report because we just can't just pop up and show up you know requesting that and so um I said okay for, forget it so I just kept blowing it off and just was like, you know, telling my mom, just go back to the, back to T-Mobile, see, you know, if there's insurance on the phone, because it was one of my old iPhones that I had gifted her, and I didn't remember if she had insurance on it. They were talking this astronomical price of like over $300 um, for the insurance, and I'm like, what? So it just bothered me. I better turn this radio down. It bothered me to know it's. Ugh, that I just was that close and I just had to see even if it was in a car on a person like I didn't know how I was gonna handle it I just chose to take a chance and just go and see and so I drove and it turned out to be a uh, huge electronics store that it was showing that it was located at and so there was a security guard at the door you know he greeted me and I and the way I was you know trying to track the phone he was watching me and so I just started explaining to him what was going on. So he reached out to one of the managers on the floor, had him come up. This guy was so nice, even went outside with me to try and track it because it seemed like it was maybe in a car. And then we came back in. He went and looked at the camera because I said to me, it tracked to the store as if somebody came in for their shift and they were still there because it was over almost two hours that the person had been at this location so i was like I'm, I'm i'm just gonna go for it so i went like i said i probably spent 30 to 45 minutes trying to find my mom's phone i mean the, the manager and this um security guard jimmy were so helpful like jimmy noticed and and it's you know, I'm sad to say, young black male who had been at the store, he said, for hours. And so they had these, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, they had these fire pits outside to, you can warm up to if you were outside. And so, of course, to, you know, promote selling them. And so this guy was sitting at this fire pit. And so Jimmy said to me, I want you to ring the phone in one second. And so I'm like, okay, I didn't know what he was doing. So he goes and he's standing out there talking to this young man because I described the phone as red case, red phone. So this young man had a red case. And he was talking to him and he was, um, and I started ringing the phone. 
couldn't get anything to happen but because the young man was acting so weird it just felt like that's it that's the phone but then when I got closer around them I went and stood around the fire pit like I was trying to get warm and yeah it just didn't pan out so um needless to say it wasn't my mom's phone so then I started walking in the store, still trying to track it. It led me to this area where they sell like the refrigerators and stuff like that. And there were four older gentlemen that sit in this like pit as salesmen to sell. And every time I went around this pit, it just said arrived. But yet there was, there was no phone, no one, you know, I still think one of them, I don't know. It just, I'm sorry. So, still no phone the manager took down my information and um i went home defeated angry mad you know just all of all of it because i was that close something told me after by that time i got home i did not feel like cooking so i picked up uh, chinese food and by the time i sat down on the bed i looked at my phone again and this was when the store closed. I think it closed at seven. And I watched this, watched my mom's location, her phone, go back to the location the person had left, which is down in Chinatown. And it's been there all night, so it's at an address. And what's crazy is the person has to be charging the phone. You can't use the phone, but you're charging the phone because it's staying available all this time. I looked at it early this morning it's still showing at that same location so the only thing I can think of doing now is to um, make a police report if this person goes back to the job I will show up at the job with this information if they stay around that area um, Chinatown I will use the police report in that location but stay tuned guys the saga continues i guess this is my first vlogmas um <laughs> my first vlogmas video and telling you the case of the missing phone so stay tuned because it's crazy that even the guy jimmy the the security guard said and i don't doubt that these these things work these locators he said because he's a retired uh, police officer and they had to use this to they had to use it to get a stolen phone and it took them to the location and they got the phone so he knows just as well as i know that it does work so again guys stay tuned um i'm gonna get my mom's phone we're not going to go buy another phone and it bothers me because you know of her age i've got to i've got to hurry up and get her a phone but if i can get her phone back that's my goal so stay tuned.